the main reason of these companies to ask aptitude is to check your logical skills, thinking skills or problem solving skills. Time work. Time work is a topic that would surely come in every aptitude test. Generally, people skip English part, but it should also be taken care of. Specifically in Goldman Sachs, it is always asked. Hi everyone, myself Naman Gupta. Aptitude is one of the topics that many people ignore. But in companies like Goldman Sachs, Adobe, Amazon, Oracle, Adidas and many others ask aptitude in their test. The main reason of these companies to ask aptitude is to check your logical skills, thinking skills or problem solving skills. They believe that they can make you learn different skills but they can't enhance your logical ability or problem solving ability. So in this video, I would be discussing all things about aptitude like different categories, how to prepare, free as well as paid resources to learn and many other things. If you like this video, then do like, share and comment and also subscribe Code Ninja's channel for more such amazing content. So let us begin with our video. So basically in aptitude, we have following four things. First one is logical reasoning. There are variety of questions in logical reasoning like calendar questions in which they ask what was day on particular date, clock based question in which they ask angle between different hands or coding decoding questions, odd one out or paper folding, mirror or water images, round table questions like who is sitting next to whom in the particular round table. There are these some important questions that are asked in logical reasoning part. Now after logical reasoning, the second part that comes is arithmetic ability. It includes bit of maths. In this we need to learn few concepts. Few important questions that come under this particular category includes HCF LCM, questions on averages, allegations and mixtures, percentage question, profit loss, time work. Time work is a topic that would surely come in every aptitude test. Other than these mathematical topics like probability, permutation combination also have a good weightage in aptitude test. Also some other topics that we have studied in either physics or maths, basic topics only, speed distance type and some of the maths basic like set theory are also sometimes asked. Now you might think that you already know all these topics then why to learn? It is because in aptitude almost everybody knows how to solve but solving at a faster rate is what actually matters. So practice more and more to increase your speed. After arithmetic ability the third part that is at most important is English. Generally people skip English part but it should also be taken care of. Practice some of comprehension based questions. Specifically in Goldman Sachs, it is always asked. See some part of an antonym synonym. Try to increase your vocabulary as much as you can. Sentence completion is also one of the type that is asked very much. For English, do not do very much like you are learning for months, but try to do as much as you can, as it also plays an important role in your aptitude test. Now fourth and last is data interpretation. In this part we have to visualize things and if we have not practiced it much then it might become difficult for us to solve this part. Some of the important topics include bar chart, line chart, pie chart and tables. Practice all four types of graph that how to solve and think in each one of them. Now I have discussed almost all the categories and in categories all the types of questions that are specifically asked. So do practice all of them so as to ace your aptitude test. Now it comes to from where to practice all these things. So as you all know that Coding Ninjas is having amazing platform Code Studio where you can practice for your interviews for free. Over there in guided path section, there is a specific guided path for aptitude also. If you practice approximately one hour in a day, then it would take 40 to 50 days to complete. Also, it is completely free for everyone. 
सो वट आर यू वेटिंग फॉर आज सुन एज वीडियो गेट्स ओवर हेड ओवर देयर बिकॉज एप्टीट्यूड इज ऑल अबाउट प्रैक्टिस इट डजेंट मैटर इफ यू नो एवरीथिंग वट मैटर्स इज हाउ फास्टर यू सॉल्व द क्वेश्चन दैट यू नो नाउ कम्स द पार्ट दैट हाउ मच एक्चुअली यू नीड टू प्रिपेयर नाउ प्रिपेरेशन वैरीज फ्रॉम पर्सन टू पर्सन आई वुड डिवाइड इट either you are preparing for tech role or non tech role or your present aptitude level is normal or bad if you are preparing for tech role then normal preparation would also do the work but for non tech role you need to actually take some course or practice as much as you can similarly if your aptitude is good then for example up till level school level also then solving questions would do the work but if you are weak then for sure practice more and start your preparation at least 2 to 3 months before now for a person if they you have limited time then you can't do all those 10 or 20 questions from each topic then i'll suggest solve 1 to 2 or maximum 5 questions from each topic or you can directly solve miscellaneous questions also and then the part you find that it is a weak one then watch tutorials for that specific part and solve more questions for your weak zones only now almost i have mentioned all the tips for aptitude i would like to add few tips more for your preparation or while you are giving aptitude test first one is for your aptitude test start with verbal part as it is easy one and also you can solve it faster than other sections or just make your preference yourself according to your preparation and follow that if you feel that particular part is easy for you then first solve that part and then jump to harder part second is time management it is important in aptitude so while solving questions make use of stopwatch now third is practice on online portals as i discussed there is guided path on coding ninja's website also but there are many other sites also so you can go as much as you like as nowadays tests are taking place online so practicing in similar manner would definitely help fourth is on for coding test only that don't spend too much time on a single question if you do that then you generally waste your time for other questions if you feel that you are not able to solve particular question then just skip that part and move ahead so these were four tips that i wanted to give for your preparation as well as test part now i have discussed almost all things related to aptitude i discussed about about guided path also but there are some people who are not able to learn directly by questions or by reading theory and they require video tutorials for that coding ninjas have aptitude preparation course also this is available in english and is being taught by arun sharma sir he is very famous faculty and have written many books mostly mba student read his book for their cat preparation so at last i want to say prepare well for your aptitude because not only in your preparation but it comes to use in general life also hope you find this video helpful do comment down and share your views okay then keep learning and stay tuned to coding ninjas channel Thank you